What's going on guys, Doom here, bringing you guys another Pokemon Duel room match video with my buddy Zach. Say hello. Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're just going to be trying out some fun Evo decks. And alright, let's go ahead and open up the room match tab here. You guys know the secret key as always, it's going to be 1-2-1. One, one. Um, also, for the Discord that I just made, if you guys ever want a chance to be featured in a video, go ahead and just send a message. Chose the wrong deck, mate. Oh, rip. No, we're just gonna go ahead and um, change the deck here. Let me cancel that real quick. I'm just so used to using my meta deck versus people nowadays. Anyways, now we're gonna go to the room match again. And we'll go private. It should pop up for me on the featured things, eh? Yep. You, anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But anyways, we'll go ahead and change it. There's my Evo deck. We are running the double Charmeleon Evo deck right now because Charizard is just overpowered once it gets the Evo. Anyways, go ahead and join whenever you are ready. I'm working on it. You're pretty close to my rating now. Yeah, I know. How much are, are we off right now? Like five? You're like seven away seven from Seven away. Me. Yeah, we actually are almost at 2,900 now. So we've been doing well. We've got a pretty good streak going on. I think we're at like a four winning streak right now, which is pretty decent. It's hard to get on streaks once you get higher in the league, for sure. Especially when you're going against Dio decks and all oh, kinds yeah. of craziness. It's definitely annoying. For sure. Anyways, um, I think this duel is just about to get started here. And let's see who's going to go first. Is I'm trying out the triple double chance. Trying to get those evos early. Triple double chance? I don't know. I kind of like the triple X attack better for evo decks. Do you? Yeah. I prefer the consistency. I just like Plus it. Plus I have chain levels, but I think most of the time I should be okay. I think your chain levels aren't going to matter like too much as long as we have like... Alright, I have good matchups. What do I have? Mostly on... Uh, Frogadier, or Frogadier. Frogadier? Yeah, against your Charmeleons, it should be alright. Oh yeah, damn. I didn't um, even realize that. Hmm. What do I want here? Actually, I know exactly what I want. I, if you can actually hit the thing, though. Yeah, that's true. Um, the nice thing about um Eevee is I kind of get a free Evo, even if I die. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about the buff. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put him right up there. Threaten to wait away, so if he does kill me, I get the Evo anyways. What is Eevee run? He's got a decent dodge, you know? I can maybe get something going on with that. What does Focus Energy do again? I've actually never or tried an Eevee before. I'm pretty sure it multiplies the um, next attack by two. Okay. So you can hit like 60. Interesting. What are we going to hit? Or 40. That's actually inconvenient there. <laughs> Hopefully I can land the 71. Wow. All right. Cool, cool. We're going to go ahead and hurdle jump him and threaten the game. But we both know he's just going to put Dragonair on the goal point here. Oh, you know it. Because Dragonair is a boss like that. But that's okay. That gives us a free um, entry point there. If he wants to move his Yabite up or even go for the... What is... Okay, never mind. I was gonna. I was tempted to go double chance with the, um, with the Eevee there. But I think it's just probably more safe to go on to the entry point at this point. Probably. And we're getting some text messages. We'll just X off that real quick. And yep, he's going to move forward as I expected. You know what? We're just going to plop Grovile right there. He's going to take probably our entry point as well. But Actually, I'm thinking about just filling out the board a bit. Okay, that's fine with me. We're going to go ahead and plop Magikarp right here. If he wants to get a free Evo, that's fine. I kind of want Gyarados early. I think Gyarados really does well in these Evo decks just because... Oh, definitely. Like, you're going to get Evo, but 110, I still match up pretty well against that Gabite. He's going to go ahead and double chance Curlia onto the Eevee. I really want that thing gone. Wow. And we are gonna, actually going to hit a miss. Give We're going to that tackle. 61. And oh. we are actually going to get an Evo, it looks like. Oh, that's bad. I think you um, confused me, but I think I d it doesn't really matter anyways. Yeah. So Since you get the Evo there. There we go. We get Leafy on and we get that two-star Grass Whistle. That's kind of nice, not going to lie. And now we are kind of free to just move Grovile. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of tempted to just put Pupitar on the goal right now. Probably not a bad play. I'm thinking... Feeling a bit more safe like that anyways. And then we are free, are free to put Grovile at the side. And nothing really matches up well against Grovile, not gonna lie. But, um, you could attack me with Gabite. You do have a chain level on your 71, I think. I do. 
So that is kind of inconvenient for me, not gonna lie. But I think once Sceptile gets an Evo, it's gonna be pretty overpowered. So I'm gonna try and kill that Magikarp if I can next turn if you decide to keep it close to me. I'm just gonna make a game threatening move here, I think. Really? I think my odds are not too bad for taking a Pupitar. I think you're gonna land on Sand Attack. My luck, I probably will. Come on, come on, come oh, on. Oh, here we go. That's what we want. Wow, hit bite. Not that it matters because you hit 101, but. Now that could be an issue. It's definitely the evil I want. I don't even think I can attack you now. Can I even attack you? What do I attack? I, I think you're forced to bring out a gold block if you have one. I don't even think I have a gold block on this Evo deck. not? No, I don't think I changed my plates. Wow. That could be game. <laughs> I think that might be it. That could be definitely game. What right do you there. have? Do you have a double chance? Yeah. Your best shot is to double chance magic card. That's really all you have, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I shouldn't have moved Grovile up so quick. Dang. I think you have to miss. I think you have to miss right here. Or get double flight and move away. True, true, That's why true, you do true. not want to want to um, overextend when you don't have a gold block, because one bad roll. To be honest, I thought he did have a gold block, I'm not going to lie. Me too, I thought you had one in that deck. I'm actually surprised you didn't. Because gold blocking a magic card for that play would have been... Can you X attack? Yeah, there's no point in... Double chancing? Well, what if I miss and you get splash? It's happened. It's happened before. Okay, so that's going to be double play. So, that puts me in a pretty questionable position here. It's not too bad for me. So I actually, actually have to move. I'm actually going to go for an attack here. I don't know if this is the right play. It probably wasn't the right play. Ooh. Oh my god, that would have been so good. That would have been terrifying. <laughs> that would have been so good for me. Oh, it's my turn anyway here. Yeah, but you can... Okay, I have a plan here. You can hurl... Okay, no. That's fine. If I hurl jump you, then you're just going to hurl jump me and be on your goal. That's true. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do this. If we can get the Charizard Evo, that would be perfect. And looks like we're going to. So that's kind of nice, not gonna lie. I'm okay with that. Definitely gonna take the Gyarados. Oh, no doubt. Your Gyarados speed's fine too, because it has more uh, chain levels on it. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah. I'm so glad you hit the double fight there, not gonna lie. <laughs> I really saved you. It would have been a pretty quick video if I hadn't. Yeah, it would have been. But anyways, we are gonna get the um, Charizard Evo there with that chain level on it. So that's kind of nice. You might, you actually are probably gonna. I forgot I don't have a hurl jump. Oh, you don't, eh? I don't, but you know, it actually does not matter. I think I'm pretty well safe right now. Um. To take the game. Don't have a hurl jump, eh? I think what we gotta do. Is almost. What do you land? What do you have on your guy? Because I might be able to X attack my. Your Charmeleon? Yeah. That's pretty risky. And hope that you either hit double flight or hit the 70. I think that's really my only option because if I move Magic Herb on the goal, you surround me. Not immediately. And you would have a chance to attack my. Um, you're actually going to double flight me. Hmm. Okay, I don't know how to feel about that one. I really don't like that. That pretty, pretty well puts me in a bad position. Yeah, I know, that double fight's kind of uh, hurting you right now. <laughs> hmm. I'm actually going to take the attack on Charmander. That's fine. At least next turn I can move. Um... Wow. Yo, that, that is actually really awesome. We're going to burn the Garchomp right now. This is going really well for us right now, to be honest. Making a bit of a comeback here. Yeah, it was a game like not too long ago. We're gonna go ahead and put the. I think we're gonna throw. What are you doing? It's my turn. Oh, oops. <laughs> That's awkward. I was I trying actually... to move my players around and it, was, it wasn't even my turn. Sorry, right, double flight usually confuses me like that too. I yeah. Whose uh, turn it is? Because I'm too busy. Really. Flying around. If you go see if he gets double flight here, that's not that great. That's what we want. We will definitely take that. Just that just puts me in the same position I was in earlier. Yeah, we can go for the X attack again on this thing. I'm gonna end the turn. I don't think I want to risk that attack again. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do. Sorry about all the noise in the background. We're kind of right next to um all the pipes here in the basement. 
Wait, do, do, do I hit? Uh, no, I don't think I think I have to attack or X attack again. Just hopefully you don't land on your 110. You, you can that either. Noise is really annoying. It's all good. If you can miss. Oh my God, that's fine actually. What happened? You'll see in a second here. <laughs> Gotta wait for that delay. <laughs> oh my God, double flight again! You're kidding me. So he's gonna double flight again, which is really nice. Oh, do I want to attack though? I think I do. Really? I'm just gonna go for it. Yep. If I can another double knock flight, it. come on. Oh no. You know what? We're gonna get two Charizard Evos now. That is really <laughs> good yeah, for me. Good. We're gonna go ahead and do that. You hit a 80 there. Your um X attack, you used an X attack there, didn't you? Yeah. It carried over. It worked in both those duels, both the battles. Oh yeah, it did. Wow. No, wait, I, I used... didn't know that happened. Oh that, yeah, I guess for because the double. I double flight. flighted and I went over and I attacked you again, and it's still not still that it counted. would have mattered anyways, but. No, but that's actually just interesting to know. Now we got the two Charizards and two Pokemon in the opponent's PC, so we are looking pretty good right now. Well, I don't know what I'm doing now. I really don't. We're gonna go ahead and just put a Charizard on the goal. I think that is our play here. Hmm. I think that is actually gonna be our play. He could. I think I'm gonna just try to knock out the Charizard. Which or if what? I get hit a Storm, that would be absolutely ideal. It's not gonna happen. Storm isn't really gonna hurt us anyways, I don't think. It would get rid of your Magikarp and your Oh yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of the magic card, right? It would just be nice to have them um, shift it away. No, I think we're just gonna move over here, to be honest. Um, Try and take those entry, entry points. points, yeah. I think that's probably our best bet at this point. Hmm. No, I don't think Curlio or um, Grovile are really gonna do too much to me. Unless you hit 71 into 70, if you even have 71. Yeah, I'll take this one. That oh this my god. Work. That's annoying. Definitely gonna take the bet. That is quite annoying, not gonna lie. I guess you were due for a... Uh, very good roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After all those double flights. I suppose so. I think we're just gonna move Magikarp up on... If you want to, um... You know, I'm... actually gonna let you do that. I kinda just wanna take your entry point. Go ahead. And... Oh, that was actually bad. I yes. had a plan, but... It really was. I was thinking I could uh, send down Phantom and get the Evo, but then I would just get surrounded immediately after. Yes, you would. So, yeah. I think I'm just gonna be cheeky here and shift my way over to the side. Um... You got a Frogadier, huh? He's not doing too much. I think we're just gonna throw Charizard on the goal right now, just for uh, safe keepings, because he actually isn't in range yet, but I'm kind of scared still. You could go for the attack on Leafeon, but if he gets put to sleep, he's in a kind of a bad position. Yeah, I'm gonna keep fighting for this Evo here. He might not even kill me, which he does anyways, so that kind of sucks, but we are gonna get a Gyarados on the entry point, which is um, pretty powerful. And we might even be able to Dragon Tail this Trevenant right off the field, which would be kind of nice. If we get Dragon Tail and then force the opponent to attack one of the Pokemon on our entry point, maybe get like a, a Pokemon to sleep or something, that would be pretty ideal. And actually, you know what? He, the Trevenant might help my Leafeon move through opponents. So that could be interesting. Let's go double chance. And um, we're going to double chance the Trevenant. Try and kill that thing. With what, Charizard? Yeah. I think there's a pretty decent chance to at least Dragon Tail it. And we are actually going to see the KO on it. Oh my goodness. I was really hoping for the manipulative. We are actually going to see the KO. We're just going to click neither there. Manipulative is not going to do anything for him. And well, if I landed, it would have really helped. Yeah. The, d the double Charizard Evo is doing really well right now. Oh, no doubt. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get uh, Saptile, but... Okay, what can, I, uh, what can I do here? Running out of options. I think... Yeah, gotta do this. Are you going for the attack? I am. If you fall asleep, it's kind of over. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oof, though. that's Not close. Not gonna happen. Yep. At least I can start filling out my field again. I think that's fine. That's, I think that's fine for me. I think we're just gonna move Charizard right to the middle here. 
and under turn. Now he could one two. He could put Gardevoir um right next to. Oh no, he's not gonna do that. Okay, that's smart actually. Definitely the safe move though. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna move Pupitar up the side. To be honest, Pupitar is gonna get wrecked at this point by anything besides Frogadier. And I think Frogadier kills it anyway. Yeah, it does too. Because I don't. Because he has to chain level. Um, do I have a hurdle jump? Is the question. Uh, I do, but I use it apparently. Um, you know what? You know what we could do? We could actually just go for the storm on this thing. And Ooh, that would be really bad too. It would be. And we're actually gonna get a neutral turn. Because if I do get a storm, then it forces the opponent to put his guard chomp on the field and attack, otherwise he gets surrounded. I think I'm just gonna have to do this. Definitely wanna protect my goal at that point. But um I'm just gonna put Pupitar on the, on the goal point right now just to because he's pretty much blocked unless he goes all the way around. So it's kinda nice. But what he could do is he could go up with Gardevoir and get the, the Psycho Switch or whatever that does and move his uh, Trevenant or something over onto my Charizard, which would be kind of scary. But let's go ahead and do this. We are going to get the Storm on the the Dragonair there, so that's really nice. Now mm -hmm. he's forced to move over and um, attack either the Charizard or the Gyarados. Not entirely forced yet. So breaking out the gold block. Oh, you're breaking out the gold block. Are you gold blocking? Are you gold blocking the Gardevoir? Nope. Rogue Deer, really? Yep. I didn't even know you had a gold block. I should have looked at your plates. It's pretty good for defense right now, so. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go for the um, the attack again, and we're gonna pick up the KO. Oh, and no, I'm definitely in trouble. So Rogue Deer is going down now. Basically, he has to attack Garchomp or Charizard. Um, to be honest, with the chain level on. Gyarados, it's pretty unlikely. I think his best bet's probably to actually. I think he has to attack Gyarados because if he doesn't, then Charizard. So what does Warpole do? Switches the battle opponent opponent for a Pokemon on the field, bench or PC. Then this Pokemon must wait three. Yeah. Because that's like. It's not gonna help you. I don't think. Like it point. switches yours, right? No, it switches yours. It's so whatever I attack, like if I were to attack your Charizard right now and land purple, I could switch your Charizard and put in one of mine? Is that no. What you're okay. no. You'd switch your Gardevoir out for someone in the PC. Oh. Then I'm, yeah, I really don't have a huge <laughs> chance to win this right now. <laughs> yep. Um, if I'm not I wrong, do, I, if I'm wrong, someone in the comments can correct me, but... Here, we'll test it. We'll, first, we'll see if you're going to win the game here or not. Okay. Miss. And <laughs> we are going to get a Hyper Beam. <laughs> So that is pretty much GG at this point. Yeah, that's uh... Alright, don't take the win yet. I actually want to see if I can land uh, the purple move. Oh wait, you got Hyper Beam. Yeah, it's your turn again, but I mean... It doesn't make a difference. Not really. Because <laughs> Gyarados is moving on to that goal anyways. Yeah. So I guess we're going to see you if what happens. Wow. You're going to take Would've over the so, so I guess it's kind of pointless to see now, right? Yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and mosey on over onto his goal point with my Charizard. All right, well, and that is going to be game. A good game. All that right. was quite the turn of events there, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a, that was an interesting one, I gotta say. The double flight uh, plays definitely kind of messed you up at the beginning of the game there. Yeah. All right, well, I guess it's time to call it a wrap on this. Yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys like that video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, if you feel right. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video, and we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.